Do you utilize HubSpot and want to integrate it with JotForm workflows? Well, let me show you how. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you utilize HubSpot and JotForm workflows, you can now integrate the two together. Let me show you how. Top left-hand corner, we're currently in my forms. I'm gonna jump over into my workflows. Then we'll create a new workflow. And for this example, I'm gonna do a one-step approval process. And here you can see a bird's eye view of the entire process. So up at the top, we need to choose a starting point for our form. And from here, we can choose a form that is already available or we can create a new one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that from scratch on the classic form. And over on the left-hand side, we can bring in a full name, email, and phone number. And once you are done adding in all your elements, you can jump back over into our workflow builder and the form is now there ready to go. So once someone fills out this form, it's gonna come down into the approval process. So from here, we can either approve or deny. Once either one of these two things happens, the person is going to get an email. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the link between the approval and ending because we are gonna to head to the left and choose integrations and we'll scroll down and we will do HubSpot. Now from here, there's lots of different options that you can choose from. We can either create a contact, a deal, a ticket, a company or a custom record. So however you'd like to start, you can choose that. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new contact from this and we can bring in our links right here. So let's go ahead and complete these settings. We'll authenticate. So from here, first up, we're going to want to match some of our fields. So for this first one, let's search for date and let's do date entered the lead life cycle. We can choose that submission date and we can continue adding fields as we see fit. If we want, we can update an existing record and we can search by that date in term. We can also add form fields to the note. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And we see we have the new submission for our form title and you can also select form fields to add to the note. Now, if we want, we can also send attachments. We can turn this on and we can send that PDF version of our submission. And if there are any fields that are upload fields within your form, you can add that as well. So let's go ahead and save and we're good to go. We'll come up to publish and we can open in a new tab and give this a test and we can submit. Now, since I am the approver, I'm going to receive an email to let me know that I need to come into job form to approve or deny. But since we're already here, I'm gonna head up into our workflow builder and we'll choose the top left-hand corner and we'll jump over into our inbox. And we can see here we have John Smith. We get to review his form submission and we get to choose whether we want to, again, approve or deny. Let's go ahead and approve. And because we have this integrated with HubSpot, we're going to see that an integration is now running and we can see that a contact was created. Let's go ahead and jump over into HubSpot. And here we see John Smith with all of his information. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to integrate HubSpot with JotForm workflows, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.